More news now. Hundreds of college students here in Milwaukee are left in the lurch after ITT Tech closed all of its campuses nationwide today. The closure comes after the government stopped allowing the school to accept students using federal financial aid. Ricky Mitchell is live from the Greenfield campus with options for students. Well, this closure affects about 300 Wisconsin students. The majority attended this campus, and if any of them use student loans, they may be eligible for loan forgiveness. So this, I'm going to have to start all over. Lena Dremel had planned to finish at ITT Tech after two more quarters, but she woke up this morning to learn the school had closed. It's reprehensible what the Department of Education has done. ITT Tech, in my opinion, has done nothing wrong, and they're ruining lives over this. Like many students, Dremel said she was using student loans to pay for school. But when a school closes, some students may be eligible for a loan discharge, meaning they don't have to pay it back and in some cases would receive reimbursement for payments already made. It's not a common thing. Camille Nikolai is the Director of Admissions and Financial Aid at the Milwaukee Area Technical College. She said ITT Tech students can speak to financial aid specialists at the school to find out what to do next. I would walk you through that process, what we need. I'd also walk you through the admissions process and um, you would talk with a counselor about different program options here and get you registered for classes. The school says it has many similar programs to ITT Tech and it will work with students one on one to find out if any credits transfer or if they can receive credit from work experience. And I would, you know, encourage them to hold tight and, you know, we'll work with them to the best that we can to either move them in here um, to get them going on a path. And as we mentioned earlier, the U.S. Department of Education banned the school from enrolling any students who accept federal financial aid last month after the school learned it would probably lose its accreditation. Now, the Department of Education also claims that the school ITT Tech has been the subject of growing investigations from both state and federal agencies over its recruiting and accounting practices. Reporting live in Greenfield, Ricky Mitchell, today's TMJ4. All right, Ricky, thanks.